The London Stock Exchange gives tech to a Hong Kong exchange. A company is trying to tokenize Uber, and John McAfee is running for president from exile. Let's start the show. Welcome back to Crypto Global News. Please make sure you hit the subscribe and also notifications button so you don't miss an episode. I'm Edward, and we're going to be bringing you the news from the world of crypto now three times a week on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. If you're in Los Angeles, each episode will be live at 2 p.m. your time. If you're in New York, it's a 5 p.m. start time for you. And if you're across the Atlantic over in London, the show will launch at 10 p.m. for you. Enjoy today's episode. Open your mind. The London Stock Exchange has agreed to sell some of its trading technology to a Hong Kong-based digital asset exchange. The deal was made by the London Stock Exchange Group with the fintech company Adam Group for its digital assets exchange, AAX. Under the deal, the London Stock Exchange will be equipping AAX with the latest millennium technology to help match trades in the Hong Kong-based exchange. With this technology, AAX will be able to deliver high performances even at peak time trading periods while also simultaneously giving assurances in the face of rising security concerns. It'll be interesting to see if this technology increases the amount of crypto trading the world over. A man named Sindri Stephenson, who was once accused and arrested of looting mining equipment worth over $2 million from the mining company Avinda Data Center, has been given a four and a half year jail sentence. Sarindi and six collaborators are part of the largest cybercrime in the history of Iceland, and they've been convicted for a total of nine years and seven months for their involvement in these crimes. After fleeing the jail sentence that he was put in last year, he managed to travel to the mainland of Europe, but he was arrested in Amsterdam. Sindri and his partner stole over 100 pieces of mining equipment in their heist. It'll be interesting to see if Greenland brings down harsher punishments on these sorts of crimes in the future. Crypto projects Sequilla and MyCoin have teamed up to create a security token exchange in Singapore that will apply blockchain technology to the trading of traditional asset classes. HG Exchange aims to act as a one-stop shop for token issuers, buyers, sellers, and market makers, providing participants access to privately held shares and security tokens. HG claims to be the first member-driven exchange in Southeast Asia seeking to merge the traditional finance industry with the crypto space. Meaning any participants in the platform must go through the licensed financial intermediaries attached to the exchange. It's envisaged that the HG exchange will provide access to high growth startups and also larger companies such as Uber, Airbnb, and SpaceX. It's an exciting time for the world of business and the fusion with business and the blockchain. I feel like Iran is toying with the idea of looping zeros off its national currency as inflation goes through the roof. History tells us this is rarely a good idea. Now, cryptocurrency provides an alternative for those living in countries where the fiat currency is being rendered worthless. Crypto adoption in Iran is growing steadily, with government economic mismanagement credited with being a contributing factor. So far, the country of 80 million has seen a portion of its people use Bitcoin and non-fiat cryptocurrency out of necessity. Foreign students needing to bypass the banking system, which they can no longer access due to sanctions, as well as others wanting to stave off inflation, have all been using peer-to-peer digital currency. I wonder if in the future the currency for an entire country goes bust if an established cryptocurrency can fill the void. And last but not least, John McAfee, the man who is most famous for inventing McAfee antivirus software and also being one of the loudest and most famous supporters of cryptocurrency, in a new video released on Twitter, Mr. McAfee shared that the American Internal Revenue Service has convened a grand jury in the state of Tennessee on the 22nd of January this year. According to him, the authorities seek to put him out on charges for unspecified crimes of a felonious nature. What makes this story even more interesting is Mr. McAfee is running for president, again. 
only this time it's going to be from exile. Mr. McAfee also said he was being charged with using cryptocurrencies in criminal acts against the U.S. government. McAfee, who is a popular cryptocurrency proponent, has more than once made the case that governments fear decentralized cryptocurrencies because they can't tax them. Will McAfee win the race for president in 2020? Highly unlikely. But if his race for the presidency gains any traction, this may bring a lot more attention to the world of cryptocurrency. Many thanks for tuning into today's episode. Please make sure you hit that subscribe and also notifications button so you don't miss another episode. I'm Edward for Crypto Global News. Until next time, you take it easy.